What's up everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to make strength gains fast. Everybody, welcome to the show and let's get right into it. Okay, we're talking about strength gains. Now, this is something every arm wrestler on the entire planet should be interested in. How to make strength gains fast, okay? So we're always, always, always trying to get stronger, aren't we? We're trying to get stronger in all these positions. We wanna be stronger here. We wanna be stronger here. We wanna be stronger in all of the different movements of arm wrestling, okay? And so we have all these different exercises and we're trying to get stronger on all of them. We're trying to make increases. We're trying to make gains, okay? Now, we only have so much time. We only have so much energy. How are you gonna make strength gains more efficiently, okay? And how do you make them fast? Okay, and I'm gonna share with you a little secret in this video about how I do it, okay? And this is not really a secret or anything, okay? But it's something that I think you'll find very interesting and it's something that's um, really worked well for me over the years. All right, you guys, I have these dumbbells out just as kind of a visual demonstration, but you can use this for any exercise, okay? Any, any exercise you're trying to get stronger on. Okay, here's the problem that people do. A lot of times when they come into the gym and they start, they start their weightlifting routine, okay, they might do a light warm-up, okay? And then they do something called pyramiding, okay? They slowly lift more weight and more weight and more weight, until they get up to their maximum weight. So by the time they've gone to their maximum set, they usually, they've usually done three or four or five smaller sets. That is the entire problem. You're killing all your workout energy and power by doing pyramiding, okay? So here's the trick really fast. Okay, so look at these two dumbbells, okay? Okay, so I can wrist curl this one like two times. Good, I can do two really good wrist curls. I'm not gonna do it right now because I have a competition in eight days and you know what I say about hard training before competitions, but this is an example of, of weights that I lift. Okay, so here is my trick, okay. So if I was coming in and I wanted to get stronger, I wanted to get stronger, which I'm always trying to do, this is what I would do. Okay, so I'm gonna come in, let's just say as an example, let's just say wrist curl, okay. I'm doing a wrist flexion exercise, okay. If I was gonna to try to get stronger, I would warm up, okay? So this dumbbell by itself is seven and a half pounds and then I have a two and a half on each side, okay? So it's like 13 pounds or something like that, okay? So I might do a wrist curls as a warm up, okay? I might warm up with just like 12 pounds, okay? I might do it like 25 times, get warmed up, okay? And then, my trick, instead of pyramiding, okay, instead of slowly working up to this weight, once I'm warmed up, I would go directly to my heaviest weight that I can lift two to three times. That's the trick, okay? So set one light warm up, really light, like just enough to get the muscles warm and loose so you're not gonna get injured, okay? but you're not taxing the muscle at all, like really light. So if you bench press 300 pounds, I say warm up with the bar, warm up with 45 pounds or something like that, or maybe uh, maybe put a 25 on each side or something, something that's not gonna, not gonna take away your, your, um, your maximum strength, okay? And then, so warm up set with something light, and then your next set, your strength set, okay, is do a set that's so heavy that you can only do like two to three good repetitions. Remember, it's not like a one rep max where you're just seeing if you can move the weight. That's really, that's really dangerous, okay? And that's a good way to get hurt on a lot of exercises. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm not suggesting try a one rep maximum, but I am suggesting try a weight that's, that, you know, if you're gonna try to make a weight, a strength increase. So if I was gonna move up on this weight just a little bit, and I have those like little fractional plates so I could put on like a quarter pound or a half pound at a time, okay? 
So I could do a warm up set and then I would go right to my heaviest set. So if I'm trying to make a strength gain, I'll try for that right after the warm up with like two to three sets. And then the next set, I might take some of the weights off and see how many, see how many uh, repetitions I can get, like maybe up to six, six or seven. And then I might do the last set where I can do like eight to 10. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the heaviest set, do two to three repetitions. The next set, I'm gonna take a little bit of weight off and do maybe, maybe six to eight. And then the last set, I might do eight to 10. That's my trick for getting stronger. Okay, and remember guys, you can use this trick on any exercise, just about any exercise. If you're trying to get stronger in your wrist, if you're in your, in your wrist flexors, if you're trying to get stronger on your biceps, triceps, chest, shoulders, traps, okay, any of that stuff, okay, as I would just suggest a really light warm-up set and then go to your maximum strength gaining set. That's gonna make a huge difference for you. So if you're tired of not making the kind of strength gains that you want in the gym, okay, you really have to try this trick. All you need to do is just change change your thinking a little bit and just change the order of, of the way you're doing things. A lot, it's a lot of old school knowledge that, that suggests pyramiding and you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot of that advice, okay? But it's the wrong advice. If you wanna get strength, strength on a constant basis, okay, that's the wrong way to do it, is by, by working up slowly to your maximum weight and just killing all your workout energy. You can't do that. You only have a certain amount of energy. Your energy will be at the maximum peak for lifting the heaviest weight right at the beginning. I'll see you guys in the next one. My job is to help you become a better arm wrestler right now and help you save all the time and wasted energy that it takes trying to learn it all by yourself. But my schedule is filling up fast, so don't waste another second. If you want to light speed your arm wrestling knowledge, supercharge your training, and start winning more matches, click on the link in the description, go to my arm wrestling coaching page, and book a session with me right now.